OK, you'll now be at the stage where you have entered your data um, for the scores you gave um, each of the 10 different categories in the five locations in Grief. And that will have automatically given you a bar graph over here, and it will show you which is the biggest problem on Grief High Street. High Street. And that is obviously the area, that, the particular categories that have the lowest score, not the highest. Uh, you'll also have a uh, scatter graph, um, which is the total score for each location. So that comes from the bottom down here, that first row of data, these five points come from the bottom here. Um, and so location one, for example, that these 10 things will have each had a score and that will have given you a total score and that will automatically be there. All you've got to have done, and you'll have been told to do this, is add your traffic um, count that you did at each of these five locations and that will have given you a scatter graph. Now, each of these graphs should have been copied um, and pasted just like you did in the previous assignment into this printing doc. What we're now looking to get is a third um, thing prior to printing, which is going to be uh, an image of one of our locations to highlight one of the problems that Grief High Street has got. So the first thing to do is have a look at your graph and see which of these one or two ideas was scoring very lowly. So which of these is clearly a problem on Creep High Street? So have that in your mind when you think about location on Creep High Street. Click on this link to Google Earth and it will automatically open up the launch pad, which you can launch down here. And that will take you to um, the online version of Google Earth. And the first thing you want to do is obviously find Creep. So I'm going to type Creep into the search button by on the little uh, magnifying glass up here. I've typed in Creep town of Scotland and what I'll do is it will take you to Creef. Okay now what you're going to want to do just going to close this dialog box that might appear when you do this is I'm going to zoom in to Creef. So that's these two buttons down here just allow me to zoom in. Okay and I can get in closer and closer and closer. Now I want to actually find Creef High Street. So if I zoom in, I can find Creef High Street quite easily because it's on this main road that we can see coming through. Here's the town square in the middle of Creef. There's Morrison's Academy up here. So that's Fern Tower Road. And I might have decided that narrow pavements was a serious problem on Creef High Street. And I want to emphasize that. So let's get a shot of Creef High Street that shows that. So pick up this little person, click your mouse and drag it across. Now, the first thing it does is it brings up a blue grid and I can drop this person on any of these blue places. So I'm going to drop him. The way you drop a person is select the place you want to go to, like here, and then release the, the, the button that you've been holding down, which I'm currently holding down. And you'll see the little hand on the middle of the screen suddenly release and the arrow will reappear and you will zoom in to what's called street view and uh, that brings up Creef High Street. So I can zoom around, I can drive up Creef High Street or by just pressing on this button and that will move me up or I could move down Creef High Street. Now it's quite a good location I've chosen just coincidentally because it shows you a rundown closed shop. That might be one of the problems. Uh, you might have identified very old buildings. Uh, that, that kind of shows you that quite nicely. Um, but I said that I for example, I might have found that narrow pavements was my big problem, and I want to show that. So this would be a perfect shot to show this. So the next step is how do I get this image? Uh, there's a number of ways, depending on what type of device you're using. You can just do a screenshot, um, which would be a print screen. You should have a little uh, key on your keyboard that says print screen, and you have to hold down shift and press that key to print screen. I'm going to use a device that I have available um, on the school system, uh, which is the SNP tool. You might find you have SNP yourself. If you type SNP into the magnifying glass down here, it brings up SNP and Sketch. And I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to type new. And then I'm just going to pre select this. This will create a rectangle SNP. And I'm just going to press my mouse down, drag it across the image that I want. That's what I want there. I want to show that narrow pavement and it will automatically copy that area. There we are onto my clipboard. So the final step I want to do is hit this little button up here that says copy. There we are. I've copied it and I can now close that. I'm going to go into my printing document where I should find I've already pasted two, my two graphs and I'm going to paste that 
So there's two ways of doing that. That would be the CTRL button and the V key on your keyboard, or you can just simply go edit, paste. Now there's an image. Now all I want to do is I want to add some information to this image that highlights the narrow pavement because the person looking at this picture wouldn't necessarily know why I've selected this picture. Now there are a few things I can do. First of all, I can crop this image if I want to make it smaller. So I've highlighted my image here. You can see I'm going to select this little button up here, crop image, and then it'll, it's made these little black lines here, which I can then just hover my arrow over and you'll see it changes and I can just pull it like that and actually makes my picture slightly smaller. OK, so I'm happy with the size of the picture now. Final thing I want to do is add a label that says narrow pavement. So I'm going to cut this to my clipboard. So I'm going to go edit, cut. And I'm now going to go and hit the insert tool, drawing, and go over to plus new. Now it <clears throat> brings up the drawing tool that you get with Google. And I'm now going to paste that, that image that I've cut. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. Um, you can use the CTRL and V button, or you can right click and paste. Okay, so there's my picture. Now I want to add a very simple label with an arrow pointing to the pavement. So let's get my arrow first. So I've pressed there, select my arrow, and I'm going to draw my arrow pointing to the pavement. And I'm going to add a text box that says, narrow pavements. I might have also decided that the number of cars on the road was a problem, but I've not really picked a very good picture for that. So maybe I want to show old buildings is another problem that the buildings have not been repaired or in poor repair or maybe very old. So old buildings in poor repair. Because I decided that these were the two worst aspects of Creef High Street. Okay. Now, once I've added them, at least one, but maybe two or more if you want, with arrows pointing to where they are, I can change the color of the arrows, by the way, if you want, um, by doing this and selecting a different color. So I could go with blue, for example. And you see it's gone blue. But when I'm ready, I just have to hit Save and Close. And what it'll do is it will put that image back into my document but it will have added the labels. I'm now ready to print this and the two graphs and then cut them out and stick them into my jotter. The final step um, that you want to do is that you want to describe what they show. So the picture obviously is emphasizing the biggest problems and you're going to want to outline what the biggest problems were on Creef High Street by referring to the photograph but also by referring to whichever one of these categories was scoring and what score it got. So why it's obviously going to be the one with the lowest score. You're also going to want to talk about whether you think there was a link between traffic and the total scores at each location. So were the number of cars creating a bad environment? Now, if, if that's the case, you should see your dots, your five dots for each of the locations being up this way. So if the score is a high score, it should be a low traffic score. If it's a low score, it should be a high traffic score. Okay. So obviously, if the score is high, if it's a good environment, then there should be a low number of vehicles. Or if there's a low number of vehicles, it should have a high environmental score. Now, if you're not seeing that pattern, then you want to say there isn't a link between traffic and the environment as shown by my scatter graph because, and then you just need to give a little bit of evidence from the graph that links it. Obviously, this graph hasn't been completed. You will need to put your data in for that. Okay, that is this task completed.